Right, so with the playlist, we're going to start today on the, uh, the Junip song. So it's the second one, just so we get a bit further through the playlist. So just checking that you've got that one on start and you haven't got the music on shuffle. Otherwise, we'll have a big, crazy house music song come on in the middle of Shavasana and nobody wants that. So we're going to get started coming to lie down on the... No, we're not, sorry. Coming to kneel on your mat. So the knees are together. If this is uncomfortable... And you can sit on your bottom, that's okay. But you're going to take the hands onto the knees. Close the eyes. Relax the shoulders. And we'll just take three releasing breaths. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out to the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth, and just keeping those eyes closed, shoulders relaxed, and just spending a few moments here as we enter our practice this evening, feeling the breaths in the body. The rise of the shoulders, the rise of the chest, and the rise of the belly. Feeling that long line through the crown of the head, all the way down into the mat, into the earth. And gently drop the left ear to the left shoulder so you're stretching through the neck. Feel those shoulder blades drawing towards each other in the back. That lift of the chest. And that stretch through the shoulder, through the side of the neck, into the scalenes, the side of the neck. Taking a few moments here. And slowly taking it over to the side so the chin comes to the centre of the chest. And then the right ear to the right shoulder, or whichever one you didn't go to before. But again, drawing those shoulder blades down the back. Feeling that lift through the chest. And stretching the left side of the neck. Feeling that head heavy. That belly filling with air. One more time. And then again, dropping that chin to the chest. And we're just going to roll down the spine, reaching the arms out into child's pose. If you want to, you can take those knees a little wider, but dropping the forehead down into the floor, into the mat, spreading the shoulders. And just coming into that breath, so maybe trying to breathe in for a count of five. And then out for a count of five. Breathing into the side of the body, the rib cage, the belly. Inhaling, filling the belly. Filling the rib cage. And then exhaling, relaxing. When you're ready, beginning to walk the hands over to the left hand side, dropping the forehead down into the mat, spreading through the side of the body, so feeling that long line from the baby finger all the way down to the lower back. Breathing into the right side of the body, stretching the ribcage, the intercostal muscles, relax the head, we'll take a few more moments here. And then slowly walking the hands over to the other side. So the hands reach over to the right or whichever side you didn't go to before. Releasing the forehead down. Breathing into that side of the body, the left side. Stretching the ribs. Cracking open the side of the body and really using that breath. <coughs> Relax 
Excuse my head. Just coming back into that space. I do apologise. That was a dog barking outside. And then bring the hands into centre. We'll take three more breaths here, releasing breath. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale here. Exhale. And then just open the eyes. Begin to make your way into your tabletop, so stacking the shoulders over the wrists, the knees underneath the hips, and being on the tops of the feet, so the toes are untucked. So that nice tabletop position, giving you some time to get there, to have a little wiggle of the bottom, a little sachet of the hips from side to side. The nice thing about being in your own homes is that nobody can see you, so you can wiggle as much as you want to. And then when you're ready, just gently inhaling, lifting the chest, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, tucking under the tailbone, drawing the belly in, spreading the shoulders, finding that cat spine. Again, inhaling, lifting the bottom, rippling through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, looking up. And then exhaling, tucking the tailbone, drawing the belly in, spreading the shoulders, pressing the floor away. One more time, big inhale, lift the bottom, drop the belly, lift the chest, the head's the last thing to move. And then a nice big exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in, spread the shoulders and just hold it there for a moment. So really tucking that chin into the chest, spreading those shoulders. And taking a few moments to breathe into the back, into the shoulder blades, into the rib cage. And then releasing back to tabletop. So finding that nice long line from the crown of the head to the bottom. Tucking under the toes, engaging the abdominals. We're gonna float the knees off the mat for an inch. Just holding it there. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose or the mouth, whatever is comfortable for you. But try to really spread into the shoulders. Keep drawing the belly in, keep pressing the floor away. And then nice and slowly send that bottom back to the heels. And then the bottom up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to wiggle, to shake, trying to keep that bottom up towards the ceiling, looking towards the knees. Maybe saying no with the head. Maybe saying yes with the head. And then finding that stillness. So maybe the knees are soft, the hands are shoulder width apart, the feet are hip distance. And we're trying to find a long line from the crown of the head all the way up to the bottom. So if you're finding that the, the spine is curving, then maybe just bend the knees a little bit more. Spreading those shoulders. We're going to take an inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, draw the heels down. Again, inhale, rising up. Exhale, draw the heels down. Last time, big inhale up. Exhale, heels down. And then keeping that weight nice and evenly distributed between the hands, begin to lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Maybe bend the knee, heel comes to bottom. Open the hips as we twist through that lower spine. Allowing the leg to be heavy. Taking a few moments here. Really breathing into the belly, feeling the stretch through the hip. And slowly we're going to come to a lizard pose. So placing the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Sending that weight forward. 
Whilst we're here, we're going to lift that right arm up to the sky, drawing the shoulder blades together and looking up towards the ceiling or the hand so that back leg stays engaged, it stays lifted. That quadricep working. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, the right hand comes down to the mat and then just staying here on the hands for a few moments, have a little wiggle through the hips. So just gently encouraging a bit of movement into the body, into those hips, into the lower back. And when you're ready, just gently dropping to the knee, untucking your toes, maybe staying here on the hands and allowing the head to be heavy or making your way down onto the forearms. If you have a block or a cushion, you might find it a little bit helpful just to bring that floor closer towards the body. We'll take a few moments here. Allowing the head to hang, the hips to be square. And just try not to collapse through the ankles. So you want the foot strong, maybe the toes flexed. And a long line from the knee down to the big toe. Option to stay here or to take the right hand onto the right knee, pressing the knee further out to the side and lifting through the chest. So finding that lift, that twist. But again, just checking that the knee hasn't overshot the toe. And it's not just the ankle going out to the side, it's the knee too, so one long line. As always, you have that option to stay here if you're feeling a bit tight through the hips today. If you want an extra challenge, coming back onto the sole of the foot, onto the palms, so you can tuck under the toes, lifting the knee back into that lizard pose. As always, options to stay here, or you can bend the elbows, dropping the right shoulder under the right knee as you thread the arm through, both hands out to the side like bird wings. And then maybe seeing if you can float the hands off of the floor into that flying lizard. The gaze staying down into the mat, down into the floor. We'll take a few more moments, a few breaths. Staying strong through that leg. And then bringing those hands back onto the floor. Stepping that right foot back into plank and we'll hold here for three breaths, hopefully without the dog licking your face. Nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, nice big inhale. Keep squeezing the bottom. Exhale. And then slowly we're going to lower the knees down to the floor, lower the body. Elbows coming onto the mat into sphinx pose. So the elbows are in line with the shoulders. Lift the chest, press the floor away, squeeze the bottom. So that nice sphinx pose. Oh, the elbows just in front of the shoulders. You were so well behaved last week. And then when you're ready, taking that little look to the left, so looking over the left shoulder, keeping the chest lifted, those back muscles engaged. And then taking it over to the other side, so looking over the right shoulder. Bring that head back to centre, we'll meet back in child's pose. So fingertips in line with the shoulders, press the bottom back to the heels, release the forehead into the floor, and maybe come to prayer pose, so bringing the palms together, lifting them above the head, maybe bringing them to the nape of the neck, or just keeping them where it's comfortable, but really trying to press through the armpits, through the shoulders, getting that opening through the chest, and that stretch through the shoulders. Just taking a moment here, pressing the forehead into the floor. Good, and then releasing those hands back down onto the mat. 
Inhaling out to tabletop. Two cat cows, so inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in, press the floor away. Again, inhaling and lifting the bottom, rippling through the spine, gazing up. And then exhaling, tucking the tailbone, drawing the belly, spreading the shoulders. Good, releasing back to tabletop, tucking those toes again, floating the knees off the floor for that inch, and we'll take three breaths. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, really firing up through the core. And then exhale. Closing the lips, send the bottom back to the heels, lift the bottom up, downward facing dog. And just a couple of little wiggles again through the bottom, so pedaling the dog. Maybe shaking the head. And then finding that stillness again, so that spread through the shoulders, through the armpits. Drawing the belly in, the rib cage in. Knees are soft, and this time we're just going to take some bends through the knees. So we're going to inhale, bend the knees, bring the chest to the thighs, and then exhale, lengthen. Two more times, inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Last time, big inhale as deep as you can. And then exhaling, lengthening the legs just to your maximum. So that might mean that the legs are still bent. When you're ready, lift that left leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged duck. Maybe bending the knee, heel comes to bottom, opening the hips. And allow that leg to be nice and heavy. Shoulders are square, armpits shining down towards the floor. I said armpits quite a lot already. Really pressing the floor away, spreading through the fingers. When you're ready, lizard on the left side, so that left foot comes to the outside of the left hand. Back leg stays lifted, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling, opening the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together. Good, I can see everyone's arms in the air. And really turning that head, so getting that stretch through the right side of the neck. We'll take a few more moments here, firing up through the back leg, so engaging the quadricep. And taking the inhale, trying to touch the ceiling. Exhale, left hand comes down to the floor, and taking those couple of wiggles here through the hips, so maybe a little sway. Maybe you just want to do a couple of ounces. Whatever's good, but just gently moving into those hips. And then when you're ready, dropping the knee, untucking the toes, either staying here on the hands and allowing the head to hang, or making your way down onto the forearms, or your block, or your books. And staying nice and stacked through that left ankle. So again, just checking it's not collapsing. The ankle's not shooting off to the side as the knee stays in. And when you have these options to progress, so either staying here, allowing the head to be nice and heavy, or taking the left hand this time onto the left knee as you press the knee out to the side, coming onto the outside arch of the foot, and lifting the chest up towards the ceiling. So just taking this deeper into the hip joint, that ball and socket joint of the hip, and getting that nice lift through the chest. Just checking in with that ankle, with that leg. And then you can stay here like you did last time or coming into our flying lizard. So coming onto the sole of the left foot, tapping under the toes of the back foot, hands come onto the mat as you lift the knee up. The left shoulder drops under the left knee, taking the arms out to the side into those aeroplane wings and then when you're ready, lifting one hand up and then maybe lifting the other. Seeing if you can find that little balance. The key here is to really bend that left leg as much as you can. 
and staying square through the hips. One more breath. And then slowly bringing those hands to the inside of the foot. Step that foot back to plank. If you need to, you can drop the knees, but we're gonna take three breaths. Inhale. Engaging the abdominals, exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Slowly inhale, lower the knees down to the floor. Exhale, lower the body. And this time on inhale into cobra. So those fingertips in line with the shoulders. Elbows drawing into the rib cage as you engage the glutes and engage the muscles either side of the spine. And lift the chest. A few moments here, just finding those back muscles, finding that lift. As always, you should be able to take the hands off of the floor without collapsing. And then when you're ready, send that weight back to the bottom. So the heel, bottom comes to the heel, sorry, forehead falls into the floor. A few moments, maybe fancy a little wiggle. If you need to take a sip of water, please do at any point through the class. And then slowly coming back out to tabletop. But this time, just tucking the toes, lifting the knees, downward facing dog. And we'll take three releasing breaths here. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, big inhale. Exhale. Slowly begin to bend the knees, walk the feet up to the hands, step by step. Just taking your time. And then when you get here, take the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, lift the arms up and over the head. And then just soften through the knees. Taking a few moments here to find that stretch through the shoulders, that stretch through the hamstrings. And really allowing the head to be heavy. If you want to, you can have a little wiggle from side to side. Good. And then releasing the hands down to the back. Uninterlace the fingers. Inhale, halfway lift. So engage the quadriceps. Lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. And the knees begin to roll up, pressing the floor away. Shoulders heavy, tucking under the pelvis. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, curve only light fittings. Exhale, hands through heart center. Good. Now take a nice big inhale up. Exhale, swim dive over those hamstrings. Inhale, halfway lift. But this time we're going to exhale, bend the knees, reach the arms forward, Ukatasana. Good. So that bum is nice and low, back muscles engaged. Staying here, we're going to take the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, lift the chest, maybe look up, but keep that depth going back into the heels. Good. Beautiful. Come down a little bit lower. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. As we exhale, tip the bottom up, arms go up and over. Releasing the hands down. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale, hands find the floor, step the feet back, so just begin to speed it up just a little bit, either dropping the knees or Chaturanga Dandasana down towards the mat. Inhale to up dog or cobra, squeezing the bottom. Exhaling downward facing dog. Good, take a few moments here, maybe have a wiggle. Good, and then when you're ready, lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Lizard again, right foot to the outside of the right hand, lifting that right arm up to the sky. Option to stay here or you can come over into wild thing. If you've done it before, I'll trust you to do it. Unfortunately, I can't because of my wrist today. But you come onto the left palm, onto the left foot, and then you step that right foot behind you, lifting the hips and reaching the right arm up and over. If that sounded like complete gobbledygook, don't worry but just finding that nice lift through the chest. Good. And then if you are in that 
wild thing coming back to lizard. The hands come back onto the floor and then everybody's going to stay in this lifted position and we're going to see if we can lift the chest. So dropping the hips, back knee stays lifted and you're trying to send that chest forward and up towards the ceiling. So big stretch through the hip. Good. Apparently this is called sunbathing lizard. Trying to get the sun on our faces. Good. From here, back to three-legged dog. So that right leg goes back up towards the ceiling. Give it a little shake. Give it a little wiggle. And then we're going to bring that right knee to the nose. Plant the foot between the hands. Drop the knee, untuck the toes. Reach the arms up. Low lunge. Good. Everybody's hands are in the air. Beautiful. Relax the shoulders. Try and lift the chest up. Good work. We're going to take that left hand down into the floor, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, so finding that twist again. If you want to, you're staying here or bending in that back leg to take hold of the foot as you draw the heel to the bottom. Trying to lift the chest, trying to gaze up. Wherever you are, sending that weight down towards the floor. If you have hold of the foot, slowly letting it go. Everybody framing the right leg half split so the bottom goes back. Release the head down. Really sending those hips up towards the ceiling, half split. Spending a few moments here, the head being heavy, the foot flex. And then sending that weight forward over the right foot, tucking under the toes, lifting the knee straight into standing splits. So those hands either come in front of you or onto a block as you lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. So don't worry if that foot's not too high off the floor. As long as it's off the floor, it doesn't matter. If you're there and you want to, you can walk those hands a bit further back towards the heel. But trying to release, relax the head. So nice big stretch through the hamstrings today. Slowly we're going to send that left foot back to high lunge. So bend the right knee. Toes find the floor as the arms slowly reach up towards the ceiling. Good, looking good. Everybody's arms in the air. We're going to take a little twist here again, so if you don't like the feeling of this twist, you don't have to, but we're going to twist over the right leg, so the left hand goes forward as the right arm goes behind, so you get a big stretch through the hip flexor. It's called Revolve Warrior One. And then either staying here or going for Revolve Reverse Warrior. So the right hand comes to the left thigh, that left arm reaches up towards the ceiling, and you get more of that stretch through the hip. So trying to reach up rather than behind. So the left arm reaching up as that right arm gets hold of the left thigh. Good, take a big inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the floor, send that right foot back. One breath in plank, inhale. Exhale. And then either dropping the knees or chaturanga down dasana. Up dog or cobra, squeeze the bottom. Exhale, downward facing dog so that bottom goes up. Have a little wiggle. Whilst I try and remember what comes, <laughs> what we do now on the other side. Good, and then when you're ready, lift that left leg up towards the ceiling. Just so I know you're all ready to go. Legs in the air, beautiful. When you're ready, step that left foot the outside of the left hand back into that lizard. Good, lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling. Either staying here or coming into wild things so onto the right hand. Lifting the left foot off, taking it behind you, lifting the hips, dropping the head as you reach the arm in the opposite direction. Good, so getting that opening through the front of the body. That lift through the hips. Wild thing is coming back to meet our friends in Lizard. Good. Hands come down to the floor. 
Try and lift the chest as you look up, keeping that back leg lifted. A little sunbathing lizard. Pressing the heel to the back of the room. Good. And then slowly moving back, three-legged dog again. So that left foot lifts up towards the ceiling. Lots of strength through the shoulders tonight. And then bringing the heat, the knee towards the face as we travel forward, placing the foot, dropping the knee, untucking the toes, and then reaching those arms up towards the ceiling. Low lunge. Good. So one that we're hopefully all familiar with. Squeezing the bottom, relaxing the shoulders. Great work, everybody. Unfortunately, I can't see anybody, anybody's suffering faces. But hopefully you're all smiling. Try and reach the arms up. That right arm comes down to the floor as we gaze up towards the left hand. So finding that twist again. Really drawing the shoulders together. Either staying here or bending in that right leg to bring the heel to the bottom, the left foot back to the foot. If you can't quite reach the foot and you want a little stretch, then a strap or a dressing, dressing gown, cord will do, or a tea towel. We're trying to drop those hips down to the floor. Good work. If you have hold of the foot, slowly letting it go, both hands coming to frame the foot. Send the bottom back, release the head down into that half split. Relaxing the shoulders, maybe slightly bending through that left leg so that you get a stretch through the belly of the hamstring. And then we'll make our way into standing split, so bending the knee. Tucking under the back toes, the hands go forward as you lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. And then releasing and relaxing the head. So it's really important here that you engage the quadricep to protect the back of the knee. But then engage the glute to see if you can get that leg a little higher. Maybe walk the hands further back towards the ankle. And when you're ready, meeting back in our high lunge, so bending that left leg. Toes find the mat, toes tuck to reach the arms up, nice long lunge. Reaching the arms nice and high, good. And now bend through the front leg, relax the shoulders. You can stay here if you didn't like the twist, or this time the right hand goes forward as the left arm goes back, twisting over that bent leg. Good, stay strong through the back leg. Again, option to stay here or flip the right palm, reach it up towards the ceiling as that left arm tilts back to the right thigh. The opposite arm to opposite leg, it should feel a little bit awkward, but hopefully a nice stretch through the front of the body. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take that big cartwheel down to the floor as we step that left foot back to plank, one breath, inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, lowering the knees or exhaling chaturanga down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog and again, little chance for a wiggle. Maybe shake the head. And then we're going to bend the knees and we're going to step jump or hop to Malasana so the feet come either side of the hands. So bending the knees like a little coiled spring, we hop forward, feet either side of the hands and those hands come to prayer. Good. Elbows the inside of the knees, try and lift the chest. Imagining there's a pole from the crown of the head all the way down to the tailbone. And that spine is straight. Good. Beautiful. Right, from here back to plank, so the hands come down onto the floor. You can step or maybe you can jump the feet back to that plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana or knees to chest. Up dog or cobra. Exhaling downward facing dog. 
And then just begin to walk those feet up to the hands step by step. Again, when you're there, have a little wiggle. So all the chance is to just have a wiggle, have a shake. And then inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, begin to roll up nice and slowly. Pressing the floor, inhaling, reaching the arms. Hands find prayer. Exhale, hands find heart. Good, a little balance to keep us all up to date. So coming on to the left sole of the foot, right sole to the inside of the calf, into that tree pose. Good. So don't worry, whatever leg you've gone for. Beautiful, if you want to, you can bring that foot a little bit higher, but just making sure it's above the knee. So not putting that foot on the knee joint, it's either below or above. If you're comfortable where you are, then reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Lift the chest, maybe lift the gaze. Really locking out that standing leg. Lovely. Good, bring those hands back down to heart center. We're gonna step that right foot back to warrior one. So taking a nice big step back, reach the arms up. So that right foot, that back foot, 45 degree angle. If you need to, you can come onto the ball of the foot. But finding that depth over the left leg, so bending the knee. Opening out, warrior two, arms go in opposite directions. Relaxing the shoulders. Staying strong through the back leg. Good, take the hands behind you, interlace those fingers. We did it earlier, inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, humble warrior, see the left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. As you reach those arms up and over, really relaxing, dropping the head. Really bending that left leg. So you get that stretch, maybe a little bit of strength into the back of the hamstrings. And we're just gonna hold it here for another two breaths. So making sure you're comfortable, maybe the heels of the hands can come together. Taking one releasing breath, so inhale, exhale, releasing the hands down to the back, release the fingers, warrior one, reach the arms, lift tall, inhale, exhale, hands frame the foot, send, send that left foot back, chaturanga dandasana or knees to chest, up dog or cobra. Exhale, meet back, downward facing dog, and we'll take three breaths, either through the nose or through the mouth, so inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, and then bending the knees, step, jump, or hop your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, begin to roll up, bone by bone, head nice and heavy. Squeezing the glutes, inhaling, reaching the arms, hands find prayer, hands find heart. Good, other side, so coming onto that right sole of the foot, whichever one you didn't do before. Sort of the left foot coming into the inside of the calf and really squeezing the bottom so you can open that knee up as much as you can. It's a little bit of a semi turn out through the hip. I'm staying here. Or we'll seeing if you can get that leg a little higher just above the knee. Being careful not to put any pressure. Whoop, ready your weight through the knee. And then when you're comfortable, when you're ready, Reaching, stretching the arms up towards the ceiling. Don't worry if you're feeling a little bit wobbly today. Or it's not quite there, that's fine. The foot can still be on the floor. Good, beautiful. Hands come back down to the mat. In front of the heart, step that left leg back for your warrior one. It's that nice big lunge, but that heel finding the floor if you can. Slightly tucking under the pelvis, find the depth through the right leg, take an inhale. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Good.
good. Stretch the arms in opposite directions when you're ready. Bring the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, lift the chest, look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, forward fold into our humble warrior. So you want that right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. The arms going up and over, releasing the head. And we'll take those two breaths. So inhale, exhale. This time releasing, inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Good, and then as we inhale, release the fingers, reach the arms up into your warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot, send the right leg back to plank. And again, we'll go through a little vinyasa, so either dropping the knees or chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. And then again, just bending the knees, having that wiggle, that freedom of movement. You can either bend the knees and step, or you can jump or hop up to the top of your mat. But all we're going to do here is inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, bend the knees if you can, taking yogi toe lock, so that peace sign between big and second toe. As you bring your bottom onto the floor, and then lengthen the legs up into boat pose. So if you can't quite grab the toes, you can take the backs of the hamstrings, keeping the knees nice and bent. Or you can take the backs of the calves. Or if you've got a strap, you can find that strap. Good, but trying to lift the chest. Relax the shoulders. Find that little balance. Don't worry if you fall over. It's the joy of being in your own home. Good. And then bending the legs. Sending those legs long out in front of you as we take a nice little forward fold. So allowing that head to be heavy. Allowing the body to be soft. And we're not going to spend too long here, so we're going back to this pose. So just slowly rolling up through the spine. And we're going to come to half shoelace. So we're going to cross the right leg over the left. Knees stacked, don't worry if they don't touch. If the knee is up here again, just don't worry, you won't get as much as a forward fold. So we're going to flex the left foot, arms out to the side, we're going to lift the chest up, take an inhale. And then as we exhale, folding forward, allowing that head to go heavy, but sending the weight over the hamstring, over the thigh. Relaxing the shoulders. And finding that stretch down the back of the leg. Moving into the lower back. If this is too much, then you can take the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh, that's okay. But we're just gonna spend a few moments here, that head being heavy, really getting into the glute, into the hamstring. Trying to slow the breath down. Just taking a few more breaths. And then staying where you are, the legs beginning to roll up. You're going to take the left arm over the right leg, so opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale to lift the chest, the right hand goes behind. And then as we exhale, draw the belly in to look behind you, finding that seated twist, that gaze over the shoulder, but keeping the spine nice and long. So extending through the crown of the head. We'll take one more breath. Inhaling, exhaling, and then slowly return back to centre. Uncross the legs, other side, so bending the left leg. Either stacking the knees, if that is uncomfortable, then you can take the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh, that's okay. But trying to lift through the chest to begin with, flex the long legs of the right foot. And then as we exhale, take that tilt forward as you release, relax the head down. Allowing that head to be heavy. Still keeping the right leg active so that foot flexed. Shoulders relaxed. Breathing in 
into the belly, into the back of the body. And just going as far as feels comfortable. This is quite an intense stretch, especially for that top part of the glute, that lower back. And then also the belly of the hamstring. Take two more breaths. Slowly when you're ready, finding that roll up through the spine. This time right hand onto left knee, inhale, lift the chest or maybe the forearm. And then exhale, twist to look behind you so that left hand is as far behind you as it can go. The foot is still flexed and we're looking over the shoulder. Good, we'll take one more breath, so inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, and then slowly coming back to centre, uncrossing the legs, lengthening them both out, flexing the feet, reaching the arms forward, take a nice big inhale, and then as we exhale, reach as far forward as you can before dropping the head down towards the legs, relax the shoulders. If you want to, you can put a little cushion between the knees and the forehead. Or you can just allow the head to hang heavy and we'll take three breaths. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhaling. And exhaling. And then rolling up through the spine. Soles of the feet by the floor, knees bent. Just a nice quick descent this evening. So nice big inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, roll down. But still taking your time. I won't stop you. I won't make you hold, I promise. Just coming all the way down onto the mat. And then walking the heels in towards the bottom. So they're just scraping the fingertips. Glute, uh, bridge pose. So we're going to squeeze the bottom. Draw the belly in and begin to peel the lower back the middle back, the upper back, pressing those hips up towards the ceiling, maybe interlacing the fingers so you can draw the shoulder blades together as you reach the arms, the hands down to the heels, pressing into those hips. Take a nice big inhale into the belly. Sigh it out to the mouth. One more time, inhaling. Exhaling, and then release the hands, tap under the tailbone and roll down the spine, bone by bone, nice and slowly. When that lower back, that bottom finds the floor, just window wipe the knees from side to side. And we'll do that one more time. So if you want to, just going straight back into that bridge pose, what we just did. Maybe lifting onto the balls of the feet, so lifting the hips. Or if you want to, going for crab pose for full wheel. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do this one-handed, but what we're going to do is bring those heels just a little bit closer to the bottom to begin with. The hands go behind the shoulders, so the heels of the hands go away from the body. The fingertips down towards the shoulders, and first of all, you're going to engage the glutes to lift the hips. Then you're going to press into the right hand. Oh, I can do it one-handed. Squeeze in the bottom, and lifting those hips nice and high as you squeeze the bum. If you're struggling to get those hips off of the floor, then maybe walk the feet a little bit further away from the bottom, just so you get a little bit more hamstring engagement. But whenever you're ready, just slowly coming back down, step by step, bone by bone, bringing those knees into the chest whenever you're ready. It's the great thing about practicing at home, you can hold it a lot longer if you want to and ignore me, and no one's going to give you those evils. Just taking a little rock, a little roll. And when you're ready, spinal twist. So reach the arms out to the side. Allow both knees to fall to the left as you turn the head to the right. 
just a few moments here as we've already twisted quite a lot tonight. Allowing the knees to be heavy, the legs to be heavy. And slowly taking those legs over to the other side. Turning the head to the left. Shoulders relaxing into the mat, knees heavy. Slowly coming back into center. We're gonna take our Shavasana and Supta Baddha Konasana tonight. So those soles of the feet together, the knees nice and wide. If this is uncomfortable for you, then you can have the legs long, that's okay. But just making sure if you wanna turn your lights off, the lights are turned off. If you wanna have a blanket or a jumper on, you've got a blanket or a jumper on. But we're just going to start our Shavasana, if you're not there already, in our, on the song Marabu State, I think it's called Vakala. So if you haven't got that going, we're just making sure that that's on. And I'll give you just a minute to get comfortable. Maybe if you need to pop some socks on, you can. Or if you want to turn any music off, you can do also. If you're going for that slip to Baddha Konasana, the soles of the feet together, the knees are wide. And then wherever you are, we're going to place the hands onto the belly. Eyes are closed. So some of you are watching me, unfortunately I've sat up. We're lying on our backs with the soles of the feet together. Hands on the belly. Eyes closed. And we'll take three releasing breaths here, breathing into those hands. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Again, inhale, exhale. And last time, big inhale, exhale. And just closing the lips. If you need to adjust your position at any time, you can do. But just letting go into your Shavasana. Dropping into the mat. And coming back to that rise and fall of the body with the breath. That lift of the belly on the inhale. And the fall of the belly on the exhale. Try and make those breaths as big and as full as you can. Having that sense of giving in to gravity, of being drawn into the earth, into the mat. Letting go of the muscles. Letting go of the tension. Letting go of control. Letting go of worry. And just breathing the body. As you breathe in, breathe in all the light. And as you breathe out, breathe out love. Breathe in light. Breathe out love. Just taking one more breath. And then if you have the hands on the belly, just slowly taking them up. Taking the hands to the outside of the knees, so you can close those legs together. Slowly bringing the legs into the chest. Maybe giving them a nice little hug, a little rock and roll from side to side. Maybe saying no with the head. And 
then when you're ready, just rolling onto the left side of the body this evening. So maybe taking that shuffle to the right or whichever side feels comfortable for you. But try to keep those eyes closed if you can. Pausing here for a few moments just so we can allow the blood pressure, the heart rate to return to normal. And then slowly pressing off the side of the body to come into your seated position. So if you want to sit on a pillow or a cushion, you can too. We won't be here for too long. But just crossing the legs or having them long. Back to the hands and to the knees so the palms are open. We'll take two rolls of the shoulders backwards. And then sit tall through the crown of the head. Engaging the abdominals. Feeling that long line, that root growing out of the ground, through the tailbone, through the spine, and then out of the crown of the head. That long line of light, that lightness in the chest, that space in the mind. We'll take one releasing breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And then bring the hands together, rub them to find as much heat as you need this evening. And then placing the hands in front of the face as you allow the eyes to open. Bring the hands to prayer. Namaste. Thank you very much. I will unmute you all in a moment. But if you want to just disappear without saying anything, please feel free. If not, I will unmute you. And you can say bye or hi or have a chat. It is complete.